are my um, alcohol ink coasters. They're in the process of being, I'm going to put a two-part epoxy on them. The epoxy is a real pain to work with. There's two parts, you have to do equal amounts of each. You pour it in a cup, you stir it for five minutes, you pour it in another cup, you stir it for five minutes. If you don't do it exactly the way they tell you to do it, it turns out sticky and I've ruined several. Right now, um, I could kind of show you the process. I don't have the yellow, but I did have um, some that didn't work, so I'm gonna recreate one more of mm -hmm. this color. So essentially what you do, and I've already applied the um, alcohol ink onto it, so let me just kind of, just I'm, this particular one I'm striping to match that. And then I have kind of a, a dark one. I did these a long time ago, so I'm trying to remember what colors. <laughs> <laughs> the mixture. <laughs> Let's see, there we go. So it kind of just, it's fun to work with. It just, um, oh, not sure, that's purple. Looking. I always like the coasters. So, yeah, the coasters are some of my favorite things to do right now. Um, I think this might be the actual color I should have used. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and you can just kind of lay layer it and go back over it. What I'm seeing right now is that, that purple I need to kind of obliterate because there's no purple in that. And I think I can do that by just going over it a few times with the green. Oh, that's cool, and it doesn't make it much well, darker. Well, it's going to make it, yeah. A little darker. A little yeah. purple in there, but, yeah, it's just weird stuff, and it's trial by error. I've, huh. I've not really understood the whole chemical part of it, because sometimes the different colors react differently to yeah. each other. Um, and I think that's going to work okay, because I can see there's a little purple in that one, mm -hmm. so I think it's going to be all right. The, um, this one I just did. Should I do another one? Sure. Okay, I'll try to recreate this one now. This is more of a blotchy method. So I'm giving all my secrets away here. Except Don't do me. that. I tell you, nobody's going to want to mess with the two-part epoxy. That's a pain in the butt. <laughs> and then after you do the epoxy, then you have to put like a cork background and paint the sides. Ooh. So it takes a, it takes a long time to get it oh, done. Yeah, and I've then been... a lot of times you'll, like, after you think you've covered it really well, you'll realize you didn't, and you'll find that um, you get little blotches like that in there. Uh -huh. So then I have to go back over, and the beauty of it is you can resurface it. You can put the color back on it again. I mean, not the color. You can put the um, epoxy back on over a bumpy spot, and it'll go. Like the cool. glaze and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah. Okay. I would show you how to do that, but it's something oh, that no. it's, I can't multitask to do um, to do that and then show you my show other the stuff. Show the it's, video, yeah. It's like a, it takes like a like 45 minutes of non-stop stirring and applying and getting my glasses on and <laughs> <laughs> okay so I just used purple on there and that's wow. wrong I should use blue so I'm gonna go back to the blue but another thing I can wipe all that off really yeah so if I mess up I just go back and fix it it's not a big deal so, so you can have H1 What's that? H1 it, no, you could have each one as oh, just each one. I each, each, H1. Oh, each like one is H one virus. <laughs> which we're talking no, about. not that. <laughs> um, That's cool how it just kind of goes right in yes. there too. And then you it fills like, itself in. Yeah, you kind of, and then you go back after it's. So now, now I got the colors right on this one. Um, these I can. I'm I'm not happy with that one, so I'm gonna go back and see if I can stripe it a little bit more like that one, with the light blue. Uh huh. So like after it's been sitting, you can go back and be like. Mm -hmm. So. And then you can just keep. Yeah, and then if you get to the point where you're like, nah, it's not looking right, it's not the right color, I can just take this alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and just wipe it clean, mm -hmm. like a clean slate. But um, this is this is probably good enough. Sometimes when you put the two-part epoxy, it um, kind of fades the color just a little bit, which is not a bad thing. So this this might look a little more vibrant than that one. Yeah. But it will match up. Eventually. Eventually. So I'm gonna stop with that, and I'll show you some of the um, the um, glass cutting things. That I okay. Do. Okay. So this is a work in progress. I'm getting ready to put all of the glass, and I'll I'll arrange it in a way that's balanced. And I did this yesterday, and then after I did it, I thought it needed more glass to make it a little bit more spectacular looking. Uh huh. 
what I'm going to do is uh, more pieces. Yeah, more pieces. Uh huh. I can show you how I make. The okay. Pieces. These are fully fused. I, I can show you that they're like um, pieces that have been put together. My fingernails are dirty, so I can't show that part. <laughs> um, and like, so these are like five or six pieces that are put together. Okay. I put them in the kiln, and then it melts it together. That's what fusing does. Okay. And so this is how it starts over here. Sweet. Um, so I have a cutter and a breaker, and this is my glass. And let's just say okay. I'm going to make some earrings, which is kind of what I'm doing over there. I take the glass, and I score it and I just eyeball it I don't measure okay I've gotten kind of used to it you match that line up with the line you just did mm -hmm. and then it just breaks oh so what is that like a little it's a it's, thing a, it's got a little thing in the middle oh okay that, yeah okay so then I, um, I I'm interested too <laughs> okay well, that's good so now yeah and I, not every time you do that sometimes you can just break it with your fingers okay I don't recommend that to my students if I ever teach them how to do that because I cut, cut their little fingers but then I'm going to put those on here, and I've done that with them. These are already ready to go in. Those are going to end up kind of similar to the earring that I have on. Okay. So it's kind of like a, a full fuse. And then um, these other pieces are pieces I'm going to put on the mirror. And there. what's this process called again? Glass fusing. Glass fusing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is, that's what I'm doing with these pieces. These are ones that I'm going to use. As you can see, they're just all separate right now. So, then, you, so you said like a lot of, I saw like the necklaces you yeah, did, that's what that... Yeah, are all glass fuses. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how does it go together? Have you... It's going to, I put it in the kiln and it just melts. It melts, to, it it melts, to, melts together. together. Mm -hmm. Okay. I put it at a temperature, it goes up, it ramps up, and then it holds for a while, and then okay. it ramps up again, and it holds for a while. Um, and that's, that's what I'm doing, that's what this big, huge, huge mess here is <laughs> about. Um, I've got a lot of glass, a lot of, I'm kind of coming down at toward the end of my um, season. Uh -huh. So I have a lot of scraps here and there and everywhere, but I'm using them. They're, Try to they're more organized when I start right now that, you know, you yeah. can even like, I mean. take a picture of that because it's kind of cool looking. All right, I, a lot of times I try to organize my colors, you know, mm -hmm. but right, this is not organized. <laughs> and that's okay. Um, it's still, let it's me show you another. Um, I, like that one. I like that one. Okay, yeah, those are, Nightlights didn't quite work, but these ones over here did. Okay. I can show you how I do these nightlights. There's something new I just started doing. I have the glass, Ooh. and I put this um, piece of metal on the back, and then I'm going to use my resin to attach this, so that's going to hold this light bulb in there. Christmas, so right in season, okay. Hard, you know, just a nightlight, and I have some finished ones in my car, but I don't want to go out there and get them, you know. What is that? That's like a little... So, it's just oh, a little thing I found at the hardware store. I was just kind of, I don't know what. I like those. This is what they are, just these little pinch clamps. Hmm. But they work really well because you just unscrew your light bulb once it's all ready and you put it in there. Put it right in. Yeah. And it looks, they've been, I should turn them Have you sold any? I sold or, a lot, yeah. Oh, I was going to yeah. say, I mean, have you had them for sale? I've had these, yeah. I just started doing them in the last month or so. So you can just kind of, my, <laughs> my table's so gross it's hard oh, to see the nice. colors, but. You can just see they're kind of oh, that's fun and you I like know, those a lot. Oh yeah, yeah people I, like the color. Yeah, and they. Um, I'm gonna, I'm not making Christmas ornaments this year, and this is kind of what I did instead of the ornaments. I figured this is. It's, you can Mix it up. It's something different. It, like you could also kind of put it by your Christmas tree too. You have done ornaments in the past, so. I have, but I just don't. It's so seasonal that I don't like to do them. Yeah. It's kind of like, use a lot of glass for you know one pot. Get mm -hmm. the most money. People want to spend like $5 on 